the wife. I faked the colon cancer. I'm the wife. Of course, I'm gonna unplug the Wi Fi. I'm the husband. Of course, I can. I'm the wife. Of course, I'm gonna control your life. Don't look at girls. Don't look at girls, okay? Like I told you. Okay. Don't look at girls. I'm the wife. I invite stranger that says they're a fan of us to hold baby midnight. Hey guys, it's me, White Knight Brandon here. I just want to say thanks so much for all the support for me and Bobby. We couldn't have faked colon cancer and gotten away with it without all of you. Thank you so much to everyone that stopped making fun of us and trying to hold us accountable for that because it seems like everyone forgot and now we're making some funny skit videos and some cooking videos on TikTok. Well, what are you making? It's steak. It's steak? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's steak. Steak. Wow. Some butter garlic and onion here and then got some rosemary over there and uh baked it. Mm-hmm. Namet? Mm-hmm. Very namet. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Balaska? Mm-hmm. Balasko. Inep? Huh? Inep? Inep? Oh, I thought you said gila. <laughs> Inep? Inep? Mm. Do you have a Mm. Yes. I'm very full of tire. For everyone that donated, your money went to a good cause because ever since that happened, the grocery produce has been off the chain. It seems like we could all of a sudden afford these more expensive ingredients. The video you just watched was one of our more viral videos, but you will often see us making videos parading our daughter Midnight because it is her primary role of her life to make us money. So as soon as she was born, right away, we shoved that camera in her face. Hello everyone, we are in the sun. It's so nice outside in the sun. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> In other news, while shouting out our Facebook account, I blame TLC for their scripted narrative because I'm not that much of a spineless coward with my woman as I was portrayed on the show. I'm actually worse in real life. What else can I say about it? It's all TLC's fault that we get hate. It's not because my wife faked that she had colon cancer and set up a donation page in order to receive donations from our millions and millions of fans. It's no different than how he tried to blame America for his financial shortcomings. It seems like the reoccurring theme with Brandon and his Bobby is that it's everyone else's fault for why they suck so bad. You publicly trying to diss TLC is like biting the hand that feeds you because the whole reason you and your Bobby can make these videos that are low quality and get that kind of following and response is because of the publicity that you've had from going on the show 90 Day Fiance. To be honest, because Mary and Brandon were super young, at first the majority of the fans gave them the benefit of the doubt. The problem is that they kept spitting in everyone's faces. You wanna talk about crummy, scamming the people that pay your bills is an all time low and now they're publicly dragging TLC. Mary fake colon cancer after y'all were done filming for 90 Day Fiance, the other way season five. So it makes no sense for you to come at TLC like this. You're obviously just butthurt because your true character was revealed and that's got nothing to do with production and everything based off of how you act and what you say and what you do. Just take responsibility for your life. It's not that hard. You guys act like big babies. No wonder God sent Locust to their wedding. He was trying to tell us something. I voluntarily signed up for the show, but I don't want to be criticized. Get in line. There's a whole bunch of cast members that think the same way. That's enough chatter. Let's talk about the this Reddit post. The thread is by HK Hughes. Mary and Brandon invite a fan home. Anyone see that Mary and Brandon picked up a fan and let him come to their home, hold their daughter and pretend to give her forehead kisses? I don't keep up with them much, but I see them on TikTok or Reels every once in a while. And I do watch the video usually because it's so interesting to see how different Mary seems to be outside of the show. But my gosh, this is so scary. To allow some random man to know where you live and have access to your child, you can never know someone's intentions, especially with what we know about people going to the Philippines specifically for sex tourism. I don't know, he could be a genuine nice guy, but you have to be careful, especially when you are putting your kid online for anyone to see. Just gave me an icky feeling. Socks, look at the picture of this guy. He looks like the kind of guy that would go with Kyle on one of those swim meets where they go to different countries to get girls pregnant. Hey, clap it up for mom and dad not protecting their daughter. It was just Mother's Day. This is so irresponsible, but are we surprised because Mary and Brandon have moved irresponsibly since day one. Let's have a kid and have 
have no money. That makes sense. And then as a result of our own irresponsible decisions, let's try to make that the fan's financial responsibility to pay for our life. You know what? Now that I got a better look at the stranger that Brandon and Mary handed Midnight over to, he looks like the kind of guy that Natalie would beg to put a kid inside of her. Oh wait, that's every single guy. Never mind. And I know what you're thinking. Poor Midnight has Bran lame as a protector. Dude might as well be working at Weenie Hut Juniors, am I right? But hey, let's look on the bright side. Thanks to all the scamming, they got a car now. With the new car, they can go on more road trips to see Mary's parents in the bigger city because that was a false storyline, actually. That Mary was abandoned by her parents. During the season when Brandon talked about his childhood trauma, Mary would constantly downplay his negative experience, whether it was growing up with a drug addict for a mother or being separated from his siblings in the United States. I wasn't always having a roof over my head. I wasn't always able to put food in my stomach, but I tried my best to still provide for you. I'm thankful with that, but you don't understand. Whenever Brandon would bring up his childhood, Mary would bring up her own abandonment issues, which stem from her parents leaving her when she was just a baby girl. Her mom and dad have been in her life this entire time, so let's just add that to the long list of the lies that she's told. Children should be protected. Does this man in any way, shape, or form seem like a fan of 90 Day Fiance? And even if he is, why would he go out of his way to meet Mary and Brandon's daughter? Think about that. Like, let's actually use our brains for a second. I'm not trying to defend Mary and Brandon here, but they are very dumb. And we can see that by how Mary actually thought she was going to get away with faking colon cancer. The 90 day community are some of the best internet detectives I've ever seen in my life. And I've been a member for about four or five years. It's been a great journey to be with you all on this uh, adventure. As we know, the majority of the fans of this show are women. Even on our channel, the split is 20% men, 80% women. Right away, I'm very skeptical that this guy is a fan of 90 Day Fiance because this is not typical. Also, why is he in the Philippines? He's got the backwards hat. He's way too old to be doing that. Now let's see what the outraged 90 Day community is saying on this Reddit thread. Blind guy McSqueezy, I love the name. He posted a picture that says, our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. What is wrong with these people? I completely agree. Then we got Good Vibration 302 posting a lot of throw up emojis saying he looks exactly like I would picture a sex tourist to look like. HK Hughes responded, I didn't want to say it. And then we got Nina Brown commenting, yep, agreed. But I mean, even if it was a woman who is so weird that they travel to see a random baby they don't know, like an unhinged lady who wants to see her own baby. I agree it would be very creepy if it was a woman as well, but there's something about it being a dude that makes it more nefarious because of what we know that's going on presently. I mean, the child trafficking is out of control. The trafficking in general is out of control. So as a parent, you would think you'd be more mindful of that before you invite a stranger to come hold your baby and fake like he's giving your baby kisses. This is so irresponsible. Peach Lily's commented, this is so dangerous it infuriates me handing your infant daughter off to a stranger man are they aware of how much pedophilia and sex trafficking is going on in the world throw away commented yeah rando western man visiting slash living in the philippines that child needs to be saved asap levat cat 93 commented yes my question is what adult male would want to go visit mary and brandon and hold their baby dot 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 i fear the answer is something sinister that's one of my biggest problems with this is that they're trying to disguise it as a fan visit what dude that looks like this is watching 90 Day Fiance and takes it upon himself to go visit them and their kid. My Wet Socks, let me know what you think about Mary and Brandon and this creepy situation in the comments below. If you got some spare coin, check out our Your Wet Sock channel membership program for the exclusive content, the custom emojis, all ad-free videos, 10 out of 10, totally worth.